Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. I am so excited because today we are kicking off a brand new series here on Inside the Hem. Um, this series is going to be four videos posted every Monday in March that will teach you how to sew a commercial sewing pattern. We are going to be doing a giveaway associated with this series. I'm going to have all the details for that at the end of the video, um, but I did want to get into the information first. Um, so today we are going to be talking exclusively about the pattern envelope and all the information that you can get from the envelope. So um, I'm going to change the camera angle here real quickly so you can see what I'm looking at and let's get started. Okay, so here we are. This is Butterick 5466. Um, this is going to be the pattern that we are going to be using for the entire series and you can see from the front that it is a skirt pattern with six different options but um, some of them are going to have uh, two uh, darts which you can see here this one has a belt um, this one it might be hard to see on the camera but it has princess seams going down the middle this one has longer darts so there's going to be a couple options and then all of them uh, the different variations are going to be labeled with different letters usually um, so this one has A through E. So on the front of the pattern, you will also find the size. So there are generally two different sizes for commercial patterns. You will generally have um, an eight through 14, and then you'll have a 14 through, I think, 22. Um, and most people fit within those sizes. Now, it's important to know that your size that you find in the store, that you find in retail and ready to wear, is not going to be what your size is in sewing patterns. So if you are an eight um, in the stores, that does not mean you are going to be an eight when sewing your sewing pattern. Um, the sizing is much, much different. So you kind of need to just get that number out of your head and um, we will figure out your size here in a second. So on the back, you are going to have usually a description of the pattern itself. Um, so if you didn't get enough information from the images on the front, you can read this and it'll tell you that it's a semi-fitted straight skirt um, with above the knee and they have back zipper closures, which you wouldn't have been able to tell that from the front anyway, since none of the backs of the skirts were shown. Um, then a couple of the options have darts, a couple of the options have waistbands, C has a belt, D has a princess seam, E has a raised waist, and also has princess seams. So if it was hard for you to tell the difference between, let's say, um, A and B, for example, just from the pictures, you will be able to figure that out from this description. It'll also tell you what notions you're going to need, and notions are all those little extra things that are going to help you finish your garment. So things other than the fabric and the thread. So that's what the notions for this skirt say. Obviously they're very different. Sometimes they include buttons or Velcro or bias tape or anything like that. But <clears throat> whatever you need other than fabric and thread is gonna be listed here in the notions section. So don't forget to check that when you're going to the fabric store. And then all patterns, all commercial patterns will have suggestions for the fabrics that you should use. Some patterns are just not meant for knit, for example, or they aren't meant to be made from a really lightweight fabric like this one for example you would never see a straight pencil skirt from like a rayon or something like that it it's just too lightweight and too flowy and those and the skirt would never hold its shape so they have some suggested fabrics here which include broadcloth damask satin jacquard poplin and tweed um, so you can tell again those are all sort of um, mid to heavier weight um, sturdy fabrics that are going to give you the structure you need to hold that pencil shape. Um, the size um, is, are sometimes listed in a chart like this, but sometimes they're also listed on the little tab of the pattern envelope, and that's where these are here. So what you're going to need is your waist, 
your and your hip measurement. Now, if you're if you're making something that has a bodice, like a dress or a shirt, you're also going to need your bust measurement. But they don't include that here, obviously, because you don't need a bust measurement to make this. So let's say you are a size 26 waist. You're going to go along here, and you're going to 24, 25, and 26 and a half. So you're somewhere between a 10 and a 12. And for most people, they are going to make the larger size because it's easier to take something in than it is to let something out. Most of these commercial patterns have a 5 8 seam allowance, so that's not a whole lot of wiggle room for you to let something out, but if it's too big, it's really easy to take in. So I would recommend a size 12 for that. And then let's say you have a hip measurement of 38. So you go along here and the 38 falls on a size 14. So you are a 12 in the waist and a 14 in the hip, which is totally 100% fine. I mean, we are making custom clothes here. We're making clothes from scratch. So the fact that you are um, one size one place and another size in another is is totally fine and nothing to be worried about at all. You'll see whenever we start um, cutting the tissue paper, how you grade between those two sizes, how you draw the cutting line um, between a 12 and a 14. Um, whenever you're doing that, but that's that's nothing to be afraid of. It's very very common. Um, in fact, I am three different sizes. I'm one bust size, one waist size, and one hip size, um, and it's usually never an issue for me. Um, like I said, we're making custom clothes, and so the beauty of it is you can make it to fit you exactly. You shouldn't have to settle, and we are not. So let's say you're a 12 and a 14. Great. So now you're going to go down here, and this is where the fabric is listed. Um, you'll see. The they have the different skirt um, variations. So um, all of these different options that are here, they have those letters listed here. So let's say we're gonna make skirt D. We're gonna go all the way down here to skirt D, and then we're also gonna find our size. Remember, we're a 12 and a 14. So for finding the fabric measurement that you need, obviously you're gonna go for the largest size that you are, just to make sure that you have enough fabric to cover you. Um, and you'll just have more left over than you normally would. But so you're gonna to go to size 12, 14, and you're gonna go down till you get to skirt D. And then you'll see there's one option for one and a half yards and one option for seven eighths of a yard. And the 45 and the 60 indicate the width of the fabric. So most quilting cottons, for example, are going to be 45 inches wide. Most fashion fabrics are going to be 60 inches wide. So when you pick your fabric, you'll just need to indicate there and then how wide the fabric is. And that way you know whether you need one and a half yards or seven eighths of a yard. Now let's say you want to make option I don't know, C. Yeah, C has a lot of interesting things going on here. So C has the same options as D, 45 inch wide fabric or 60 inch wide fabric. And then you go to your size 14 and you'll see you'll either need one and a half yards for the 45 inch fabric or one and a quarter yards for the 60 inch fabric. But you'll also see as part of skirt C that you need fusible interfacing. So that means you'll have to go to and buy that as well. Go to your fabric store and buy that as well. And most interfacing comes in 18 or 20 inches. So they kind of just lump them together, rounding um, this number to fit both of those. And you'll go over to your size and see that you need um, one and a quarter yards for a size 14 in the fusible interfacing. It's just nice to know to not that you don't have to go to the store and just round and estimate and say, oh, I don't know, just give me two yards and hope that's enough. If you follow this chart, you'll know exactly how much you need to buy. You know that you'll have enough and you'll probably have some leftover for scraps as well. And you just don't have to stress about that. Um, so that's how you find out how much fabric that you're going to need. Um, and then it'll also give you the length from the waist down to the hem. And for all of the versions, it's gonna be 22 inches. So if you're really tall, you have really long legs or you're high-waisted or something like that, that information is gonna be really helpful for you too as we move forward in the process to, to see if you're gonna need more fabric um, to add length to your skirt. That could also mean more um, that you have to purchase more fabric whenever you go to the store. So finally, here on the very bottom are going to be the drawings for the skirts. And this is 
I hardly ever rely on this alone. To me, this is pretty and it gives me an idea of what it's like, but I need to know the details of what the, the skirt is going to look like. If I just looked at this, I would never know it had princess seams in it. So I want to not rely on the drawings. I want to rely on the actual line drawings here. So you'll see for each version, they have the, the pattern lines for the front and then the back. So this is the front of A, the back of A, the front of B, the back of B, front of C, back of C, the belt for C, and then the front and back of D, and the front and back of E. So you can see kind of all the differences that there are there, how many darts there are, where the zipper goes. You know, if there is extra seaming, you know, you'll get to see the belt, if there's gonna be a belt, or any other accessories that come along with it. So that is sort of the, nuts and bolts of the information that you can find on a sewing pattern envelope. So I did mention a giveaway at the beginning of this video. McCall's Pattern Company has been generous enough to give us three patterns to give to one of you. And McCall's Pattern Company, if you don't know, um, they produce McCall's Butterick and Vogue sewing patterns. So um, for one of you, you will have uh, the opportunity to choose three patterns of your liking from either of of those brands and McCall's will gift them to you. Um, to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to McCall's Pattern Company's YouTube channel, and I'll have a link to their channel below in the info bar so you can find it easily. And then within the four videos, there's going to be a word hidden um, within each of them. And on the fourth video at the end of the series, you're going to need to comment on that video with the four words that you found while watching the series. And we'll pick one of you at random who get those right and you will be our big winner. So don't worry about forgetting all those details I will continue to remind you through the series but in the meantime I hope you learned a lot about sewing with commercial patterns um, and you have a lot of information now you can go and purchase a pattern you can purchase your fabric you can purchase your notions and be ready for our next video next week so hopefully you'll stay tuned for that but thank you so much for watching and until then bye